Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School. Back out here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen, back from Blade Show 2022 in Atlanta. We had a great time, met a lot of great folks, got a lot of positive feedback on the cooking series here on my YouTube channel, as well as other things, so I really appreciate that. I really enjoyed meeting lots and lots of people who watch my videos at Blade Show this year. What we're going to do today is we're going to make homemade chicken noodle soup. And when I say homemade, I mean from scratch for the most part. We're going to use some of our dehydrated vegetable stock, but for the most part, we're gonna make our own noodles. We're gonna boil down the chicken. We're gonna make our own broth. We're gonna do all of that stuff the old fashioned way. And the first thing we're gonna do is make the noodles. And that's a time consuming process because there's dry time involved in that for the noodles to dry out after you make them. So let's discuss how to make noodles real quick and go through that and then we'll move on. All right, so for our noodles, we're going to start off with one cup of flour. Now, I'm using whole wheat flour here. <clears throat> it wouldn't matter <clears throat> as long as it's not self-rising flour. You could use wheat flour or corn flour, either one. So there's a half cup and another half cup. We're going to throw a tablespoon of salt in that dude. And so we'll just kind of mix that up a little bit. And then we're going to put an egg in here and a little bit of milk. So we'll get us a spot here in the middle. We can drop an egg in too. We need one egg for this. We only need about an eighth of a cup of milk. But not very much milk at all, really. Okay. Now, we're not going to be able to mix that with this because it's too flexible. We'll have to use a fork to mix this up with. And we're trying to make this the consistency of a really thick dough. So, it may take you a little bit to... Get it where you want it. Again, like everything else, play it by ear. If you need to add a little bit to it, add a little bit to it. As far as liquid goes, if it's too dry, wheat flour can act a little different than corn flour. So you may need a little more liquid in there. Right now, I'm just gonna kind of work it down and see what happens, see where we end up. All right, so once I get this to where it balls up good in my hand like this, I'm gonna just let that sit for about 10 minutes. Okay. Once we've let that thing sit, we're gonna flour up our board real good here. Get our dough here. And we're gonna roll that dude out pretty flat. Get this out of the way. Move this real thin, okay? We're gonna do it out of this. So the thinner this is, the faster this thing's gonna dry, the better off we're gonna be. Good. 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 Flour the top of this real quick. And we're going to just lightly roll it just like this. Kind of like you roll up a jelly roll or something. Just like that. Okay. Then And get our knife. Now what you've got is, there's your noodles, okay? Once you unroll it, you've got your noodle there. This is a Mora knife. And we're just laying those dudes out flat, just like that. time okay so now that our noodles are drying it's gonna take a couple hours like I said for that to happen 
and we can just lay them out in the sun just on a sheet and let them dry and that'll be fine but we want them to get good and hard before we use them while we're waiting on that we're going to take our chicken and i've just got a small like a game hen size chicken here and i've got a 120 ounce bush pot i've got it about three quarters away full of water we want two quarts ish of water or so for this recipe and we're going to use the whole chicken we're going to boil it in this bush pot so we'll go ahead and cut this off of here we're just going to boil it with the skin and all on there a lot of times when you get these chickens you got to make sure that they didn't there you go all the giblets are usually stuffed up inside there so you got to make sure you pull those out and i don't have a problem with cooking those in with it usually you got a neck in there and a gizzard we'll see what's in there i usually won't cook the neck and i probably won't cook the liver but the gizzards and the hearts and all that stuff or the heart and the gizzards excuse me those are definitely going in the pot the liver and the neck i probably won't use for this and then we're just going to put the whole chicken we're going to drain any juice that might be inside the chicken out get that dude down in the pot and that should bring our water level pretty close to the top which it did and now we're going to put that on the boil Okay, so once we've got our chicken off the boil here, and it's looking pretty good, we got 99% of the fat off of that dude. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this dude out of the pot. And we're going to look at how much liquid we have left in the pot. And we got about half, which is about what we really want now. And we've got some broth in there. I can see some bubbly fatty bubbles in there that's kind of that's exactly what we're looking for so now we're going to start to remove the meat from this chicken because we don't want the bones obviously and we really don't want the skin for this either yeah that's really good looking meat oh yeah kind of let that cool down a little bit so we can shred it up some a little easier Now, once we get this meat off of here, we can shred it up a little bit as it cools down, put it back in our pot. Feel pretty hot. Hmm. That's good, though. Nice big chunks of chicken in there. That'd be awesome. Okay, now that we've got our chicken in the pot and we got about a half a pot of liquid here we're going to add a half a cup of these soup greens in here let them hydrate and we're going to add just a little bit of chicken stock in here And once you've added our chicken and our vegetables back to that stock and put a little bit of chicken stock in there, we're going to boil that again to rehydrate everything. Then we're going to turn the heat down and add our noodles back in to soften them up. Boy, it smells good, that's for sure. I'm going to have to turn this dude down and add some noodles to it. Noodles 
goes in there. Now, stir that up a little bit. Let that simmer for a little bit. Put a lid on there for about a half an hour and just let that dude simmer. Well, I've never used wheat flour to make noodles before, so it's kind of an experiment for me too. I'm kind of anxious to see what they taste like. But the first thing I wanna do is I taste this broth. Oh man, tastes like Campbell's. Oh man, that's good. That's a good hearty soup right there. Mm. Wow. All right, a couple of noodles. Yeah. Not bad. They're uh, a little different consistency than uh, corn flour, but nothing wrong. Hot. Good though. Oh man. Mm mm. That broth is amazing. Mm mm mm. Nice. Guys, listen. I appreciate you joining me out here today for this video. It's a little bit of a lengthy process to make chicken noodle soup pretty much from scratch. But it's a worthwhile endeavor, especially if you're feeding a lot of people, to take the two, three hours that it would take to make it. Again, you can use regular corn flour or you can use wheat flour to make your noodles with. The traditional way to do it is with corn flour. I just happened to have used wheat flour this time just to try something different, and it turned out fine. I think the important thing with this is just to understand that the process is going to take a little bit of time. It's not something you're going to be able to do in a hurry. So if you're going to make noodles from scratch, that's going to be your time-consuming thing. If you bring noodles in, just buy noodles, and all you got to do is boil the chicken, make your broth, add some freeze-dried vegetables in there, and throw a bag of noodles in. You can knock something like this out of the park inside of an hour for a group camp or with your family. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business. For our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends, I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks. Yeah.